Can I just request you? Wait, wait, one second. I am speaking for you. One second. Just I am speaking for you. One second. One second. Allow me to speak. Tarun, Tarun. No extremism. Let's not politicize this debate. I want people to not politicize no. this debate. Let's not politicize this debate. Let's not politicize this debate. People should understand you. International media. This is not correct. This is wrong. You call me. No. One second. This is no. 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 No way. This is not. One second. One second. Bina. Bina is my sister. How can I call her extremist? No, this is not right. One second. I want to hear from Kamal Mitra Chinoy. I want to hear from Kamal Mitra Chinoy. Voices should not be on anti-racism law. Is your party prepared to support it? Let's have some sense. No, no. Otherwise, if everybody starts shouting, it doesn't serve any purpose. Let's hear from Kamal Mitra Chinoy. Anti-racism law is long overdue. Yes, long overdue. But I do want to say that there must be democracy along with that law, which means the Armed Forces no, no, Special no. Powers Act I should go out, and people who are murdered, like Manorama Devi and all, Manipur. their cases okay, should be taken up by the uh, uh, by the Manipur Why High Court, Imphal High Court. And okay. Who the Armed Forces? Uh, we must also put to question, question the fact. Mr. Dung, yeah. How Mr. Mr. Arvind Kejriwal and Somnath Bharti themselves blatantly got involved in a racially a uh, discriminative act and a xenophobic act. Okay, let's hear from Kiran Biju. Kejriwal wasn't how, even how there. On this broadcast, how, I want Kejriwal to hear from was not voices. even there. One second. But I want to hear from Kiran Biju. Uh, if everybody Kejriwal starts was... shouting together, we'll just have a complete mobocracy. You've had a chance. Let's hear from Kiran Biju on why this bill is so important. See, uh, what we talk <laughs> about the Atrocities Act against SCST, that is social based laws. Now, what we are talking about is anti racial discrimination law. Now, in India, we must understand that it is a multi-ethnic, multi-racial country. In America, if they have an anti-racial anti law based on black and white division, okay. in India oh, it is a multi-racial country. Okay. There must be respect for Ever. everyone. So the thin line we have to define is, for example, if some northeastern person is called Chinki, what is the definition of that? If that is not racial, then what is racial? So there are so many things we need to define. I agree with the young boy that 66 years of independence, we are not able to draw a line where every racial group of okay. this nation is We're coming to the end of this program. I, I have a colleague of mine from the India Today group, Monalisa Arthur. She has a question. I will try and give more people an opportunity also. Let's hear Monalisa. My, yes. My question is for Bina. Uh, you know, I'm a minor voice in, among the minorities, I think, but we've always been asking about what we want, you know? We want this, we want this. Do you think we've done enough as well, or are we also lacking in a way? It's a give and take, I think. So have we also given enough? Are we also aware enough about the other side? What do you think? In Absolutely. what context do you make this point? In this, uh, like, we want others to understand us. We are the minorities, true, true, right? True, true. We want others to understand. True, true. How much do we understand yeah. the others here? Yeah. How much do we make a point to mingle with the others and Absolutely. understand them as well? Absolutely. Or do we just Absolutely. mingle amongst ourselves or in our community, sure. not want to understand the others? Are we also at fault here, do you sure. think? Yeah. Good. No, one second. Let's hear some other voices because this is an important point yeah. that Mona Lisa makes. Yeah. That is it a case of ghettoization which is voluntary or enforced? Uh, Bina, do you want sure, to respond to Monalisa? Absolutely. I have been advocating for weaving history of Northeast India into the national syllabus in UGC, NCRT and others. Okay. Now, two things are happening in, our, in, in India. One, if you see, forget about here, even within the eight states of Northeast, we are not made to study about each other. A Naga doesn't understand about a Mizo, a Mizo doesn't understand about the Tripura, so even that is lacking in between, okay? And the other, where the history of 45 million Indians are blacked out in our textbooks. And the question that you're raising is, what when we come out from there and mingle? It's like this, if someone comes to your home, and, and it's like a visitor, okay? The one who is already home should welcome you. This is about, it's not when people of Northeast stay together, it's not because they don't want to mingle. They feel a little bit of insecurity. You have to take their hand yeah. and make them be a part of okay. you. Right now, you're not allowed to do it. You're actually killed for it. That is the difference. Okay.